Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on upgrading the ESP32 Marauder Mini. So by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to take the stock Marauder Mini. This is the non-GPS version. We're gonna add a GPS radio to it. This is the 400 milliamp hour battery that Just Call Me Coco recommends on the product page. We're gonna add a 1300 milliamp hour battery to more than triple the capacity there. And then we'll slam it into this 3D printed case that I designed that flush mounts the GPS antenna on the top here and also flush mounts the micro SD card. So I kicked the side of my card out just a little bit to make it flush. And because this is spring mounted, you can still pop it in and out without having to take it apart. So let's jump into the build materials. All right, so the build materials is going to start with a stock ESP32 Marauder Mini. To that, we're going to add the ATGM336H GPS module. Got this for about $10 on Amazon. It's got the IPEX connector there for the external ceramic antenna. Uh, again, this is the battery that Just Call Me Coco recommends, 400 milliamp hours. Instead of that, I'm gonna be using a 503-759-1300 milliamp hour battery. And we're gonna need four different colors of wire, probably about two inches of each of these. I'm using a 26 gauge stranded copper wire. And finally, we'll need the 3D printed case. It comes in three pieces. You have the base, the top plate, and this little switch here. Um, then we'll use some M2 inserts and the M2 screws that came off of the Mini. All right, so I've cut four wires a couple inches long and stripped the ends of them so that we can solder them to the GPS radio. Basically, we're gonna go for something like this. So we're gonna have the IPEX facing up. I'm gonna bring the wires in from the bottom and solder them onto the top there. Um, so I'll drive them in from this side. We'll do red to VCC, black to ground, and then white and green to TX and RX. All right, now that we've got our GPS radio all wired up, I'm gonna take note of white going to TX, green going to RX. I usually take a picture of this with my phone because the next step is to cut a piece of double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna stick it right over this chip here and we're gonna mount this on the board uh, right in here. All right, now we've got our GPS radio all mounted to the board. We're going to now run the wires down to here and I'm gonna cut them to length and then solder them in. We're gonna do red to 3.3 volts, black will go to ground, white, which is TX, is gonna to go to pin 21, and green, which is RX, is gonna to go to pin 22. All right, now that we've got our GPS radio all soldered onto the board, the next thing we're gonna do is add the battery. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the key on the battery here and line it up to the connector. And we're going to see that the, in this case, the red wire lines up to the positive side and the black wire lines up to the negative side. So this battery came all ready to go. If your wires are inverted, you need to use an X-Acto knife and lift this little flap here. You'll be able to pull the wires out, swap them, and then push that little flap back down. So this is DC voltage. If you hook this up backwards, you're going to fry your whole board. So make sure your polarity matches and get that battery plugged in. All right, now that we've got our board all assembled, we'll set that aside and we'll get the case ready. All right, so for the inserts, I have a dedicated soldering iron, just a cheapo one that I use so that I don't mess up the tip on my good soldering iron. So I'm gonna run this at about 350 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna stick the inserts over the holes and then heat them up and just let the heat drive them in. All right, now that we've got our inserts all burned in, the next step is going to be to install the GPS antenna. So I'm gonna run it through the hole here, and then it just pressure mounts in, so we'll just push it into place. All right, we've got a nice flush mount there. Next, I'll plug the antenna into the IPEX connector, and we'll know it's connected on there when we've got a nice good swivel motion. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the battery in. I'm gonna try and run these battery wires and the GPS wire so they're out of the way and I'll stick the right side in, and then I'll drop it down. Once we've got everything all nice and flush in there, we'll drop in the power switch, and I'll remove the screen protector, and we'll stick the top plate on, and now we'll screw the screws back in. Now we'll stick the micro SD card in, and there we go. Now we've got the case all assembled. All right, at this point, you guys should have a fully functioning Marauder Mini with upgraded GPS and 3X battery capacity. You can see here the GPS turns green once you've got a lock. You can go to device and 
down here at GPS data to see all the things that are coming off the birds. And this struggles inside my house. I had to go outside and it usually takes 30 seconds to five minutes to get a GPS lock. So be patient with it. If you're turning it on for the first time, wait for that GPS to go green. And then you know you are ready to stick this thing in your pocket and go war driving. So after using this thing for a couple weeks, I'm super happy with how it came out. I get about six hours to a single charge war driving the whole time. The only thing that's keeping me from putting this up there in the enjoyment level with the Hack RF and the Flipper is under Wi-Fi, under attacks, there is a deauth targeted. The problem here is that under Wi-Fi, under general, we don't have a select stations button, which means there's no way to define the target for the targeted deauth attack, meaning the targeted deauth attack does not work on the Marauder Mini. So once that feature gets integrated into the Marauder Mini, I will carry this thing all the time. It fits right in your pocket, fits in a backpack, works really well. But until then, this is a really neat little war driver getting you about six hours to a charge. So hopefully at this point, you guys are ready to get out there, start war driving. I'll see you guys on wiggle.net. And as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.